Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Cold Turkey Blocker. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So in order for you to start using Cold Turkey here, we first need to install the actual app. So you want to open up any browser here, just type in the following. It's going to be cutcoldturkey.com here, and let's go and click on the download button. Now, there are two versions that you could get. Here we have the Blocker Pro, but we also have the Blocker Free. Let's go and choose Blocker or the Blocker Free here. Click on download. And what we need to do is we just need to follow the steps that is indicated in here. Now, typically speaking, the uh, setup process just involves you installing the desktop app, installing the browser extension, depending on what browser you're using. And from then on, uh, you could go and just start using or start adding whatever you want to block. Let's go ahead and just install or open up the download button at the top right here. Click on the installer itself. Click on run and just follow the on-screen steps here. Answer yes if it requires further permission. Now, from here, you want to agree, agree to the... Uh, accept the agreement here click on next so now you can go and choose the location let's go and click on install and it should start the installation process this might take a while here so just wait for it but once it's installed you should see it in your desktop let's go and click on finish now once you've finished this what we need to do is we want to run cold turkey blocker now automatically it should open up for you so as you can see right now this is what you should be seeing first now what we need to do here is we first need to install this to the appropriate browser. So, for example, I'm using Google Chrome here. So, I want to use or click on the install button for Chrome. Click on yes, it requires further permissions. It should open up Get Cold Turkey website again. Click on the install blocker extension here on your browser and click on add to Chrome. Now, let's go and click on add extension. And once you have this installed, as you can see here now, we are able to start using Cold Turkey here as you can see right now. Now, by the way, you could go ahead and enable incognito permissions here as well. So uh, what you need to do is you just need to allow incognito in the following location. So I'm just going to copy this one real quickly and paste it in here and see if we could enable what oh, it's missing. You see, you should copy the whole thing here. Let's go and paste it. And you want to go and scroll down a bit here. You should see the option allow incognito, enable this one, then you should be good. So let's go back in here very quickly. So what we need to do next is we want to exit this one. Let's go and click on the uh, X button at the top right of that pop-up. As you can see, it's now installed. Let's go and click on close. But if you have multiple browsers, install that as well. But let's go and click on close. Now, in here, there are multiple things that you should see. You should see. Now, first is going to be dashboard. Dashboard is going to be your general information where you could see your active blocks, your upcoming blocks, and your summary of the, today's blocks. Now, if you want to see your statistics, like the information uh, with your active blocks, number blocks triggered here, website statistics, app statistics here, you should be able to see any information in here, in this section here. Now, if you go to settings, this is where you should be able to set your preferences. Like, for example, your app team, uh, your functionalities here, ease of use. You also have the block strictness here. Like, for example, force close certain apps or websites. Now, you also have the notifications here if you want to add, like, modifications on certain events. You also have statistics and, over, and also your password here. I'm just going to close this one. But, yeah, how do you add blocks? Now, you want to go to the block section at the left side here. And what you need to do is you want to go and start adding your block. Now, by default, they have this block here. So let's go and click on the pencil icon. So choose when the distraction auto starts. Now, you can go and choose one uh, on one time here. So on this specific date or time of the day, you can go and choose that or or when you, si uh, when you sign in. So yeah, but obviously some of the features here may be uh, locked because uh, uh, some of them are pro features. So you may want to uh, get the pro if you want to use those specific features. But... If you want to go ahead and add a new block, let's go and click on new block here. You just need to add uh, the details for this one. Like for example, for websites. Now from here, you could go and click on add here. So, uh, oh, by the way, you could also import like for example, websites from block, uh, exceptions from block here, all searches. So you, you can import the details directly from those sources. So for example, in here, let's go and choose like roblox.com. This is just an example. Let's go and click on add. Now, you could add other things as well in here if you want to, multiple links if you want. You also have like a website exception as well. So, if you want to use uh, exceptions uh, uh, for this one, you could also uh, add like apps in here, like if you want to block apps. But obviously, it's for uh, premium users or pro users here. Let's go and choose website as an example. Now, from here, you could go and select, like for example, I want to select everything in here. You could also export this if you want. Let's go and click on the save as button here at the bottom right. Now you could go and save this as, for example, gaming this 
let's say this with a gaming disc here. So for a distraction, so you can save. As you can see, we have gaming disc. Now you can turn this on. So by the way, you could go ahead and edit this as well. Like for example, uh, auto start. Uh, don't auto start this block. Uh, you could go so one time again, like what what I shown you before. Like if you want to block, uh, it'll start settings until the block is started. So yeah. So let's go ahead and turn this on. It's going to be it's going to be now uh, starting or it, the block itself should now take effect. Now when we open up a new browser here and just go to Roblox.com, which what we just added before. Oh uh, sorry, my bad. Roblox.com. It should now block your access on that website. So this R for destructions. As you can see right now, this website is blocked by Cold Turkey here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.